that's a huge one. I'm talking, oh my gosh, that fish is like, that's over it. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. What is going on? That's a big one. Next cast. All right. Oh my gosh. I got a huge one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh yeah, that's a giant. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Before we get into this one, I wanna run a quick giveaway for you guys. I have a $25 Bass Pro gift card, and you know we gave away one last week. If you guys wanna enter for this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and also drop some comments down below on some videos you guys wanna see soon. If you guys were wondering about the last two giveaway winners as well, I believe we gave away a reel and then another gift card. I'm gonna drop the winners down below in the description, and if you are one of the winners, DM me on my personal Instagram, at Noah Pescatelli, you are gonna have to show proof that you own the account, so if you didn't win, don't go DM me. And I'll be announcing the winner to this giveaway very soon. So in this video, we actually went back out to Stanley Southern Traditions. I'll link them down below. They'll have their website down below, also their Instagram. You guys are gonna be able to go out there and go fishing, which I'll keep you posted on the details. But if you could, go follow them on Instagram. They'll keep you posted with the updates on everything. And uh, also go check out their website. Really nice people. I really appreciate them letting us come out there. And we caught some really good fish. And I had Beth from Strike King and Lose on the boat with me. We had some good conversations. Um, just talked about life and, and caught some good fish. We were only out there for a few hours. And we really put the smack down on them. We caught over... 10 around 10 to 15 fish in like two hours we were on them pretty good so if you guys enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button i hope you guys enjoy this one it's gonna be a good time let's get it yeah there was a there's a good bit of fish on the seawall okay we had a good bit of bites we caught like two down by that tree cody missed a few decent ones okay Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, that one yesterday. I, I you could, small mouth, but you could get it today. I, I think you have. Okay, good. <clears throat> Set up. And we've got a you could get it. Cabin up in Canada. My great grandpa used to go to Lake Huron and spend all the time. And then just found a lake and built a cabin so I could have all these fish. That's awesome. So you grew up. Grew up fishing. Yeah, outdoors, sports, whatever. I could get my hands on. Now I'm kind of getting back to all that dolphin and like, fishing and fishing. That's good. Yeah. How long have you been with Lou's now? And yeah, I'd love to say I know it was recent. That's a huge one. I'm talking, oh my gosh, that fish is like, that's over it. Ugh. I can't see him. That's a big one though. He was tugging so hard. There we go. First fish today. Um, I'm just flipping him off. <laughs> oh, that's a four pounder. The way he pulled the, I thought that was over five. Wow. First fish today. Are you five minutes in? Five minutes in. <laughs> How many casts? Yeah. Maybe three? Yeah. So we just rigged up. Yeah, it's probably just... three casts. Here we go. We got our first fish today. That fish is pushing high three, four pounds. It's a good one right there. Right when I hooked him, he started pulling the drag and just toting me all around. I thought he was going to be like seven, eight pounds. But that's still a good fish. We're five minutes in, probably three casts, and already got our first bass today. That's a good one. Let's get her back in the water. That is a thick fish right there. Thick and fat. That's a great start to the day. That's exactly what you want to see. Well, guys, that was our first bite, first bass on like maybe the fourth or fifth cast. Like, really haven't thrown that many casts. We just caught that one, so I'm gonna keep on covering some water. I think they might end up. I got another one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they might end up biting good. I was supposed to try to get out of my mouth, but. Just had one pull my curl down. Yeah, he's got me. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I think it's another good one. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. What is going on? Let's catch two four pounders. That's a big fish. It might be over four. One boat flip him right here. <laughs> He's fighting so hard, he doesn't want to give up. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that right there. This is crazy, guys. We had a 26, 26.38 pounds. That's what I had yesterday. And we just got out here, and this is a crazy start. We have like probably seven pounds of two fish, seven and a half. Those are high three pounders right there. Just got it started. I think that was my next cast from that last fish. It's gonna be a great day. See the base of that tree? Yeah. Right there. I made the same cast twice and caught two that were the same size. I would have thought there would have been a bigger one up there, but I got another one. That's a big one. Next cast. We already got, we already got over 10 pounds in three casts. We are smoking them today. Three casts in a row. That's what we're talking about. Third fish today, five minutes in. Look at that. We got a male. Pretty fish. It's probably only two pounds, maybe two and a half if we're lucky. It's still just a pretty fish. I cannot believe how good we're getting on them right now. I had a feeling this little corner was gonna be good. We got a bunch of grass on the bank, a few little trees here and there, and there's a few bass pushed up this morning that are gonna be munching. So, there we go. Hopefully we're gonna get one that's like eight pounds. That's the main goal today. I think we can make it happen. Get me in the face. Thrown three casts, caught three fish, and I've probably thrown eight casts total, which is crazy. Yeah. Dude. Caught what? three and three casts already. I like 10 pounds. Really? <laughs> yeah. We haven't caught anything yet. Dude, I like, I've thrown probably eight casts. We were, you know, rigging up and everything. And on my like fourth cast, caught one and he was tugging like crazy. And then on my next cast, caught another, like, they're both three and a half. So now I caught one that was like two pounds. Really? On what? On, on a, what? just a little Texas rig. Yeah, I think the fish are roaming a little bit right now because it's cloudy. Dude, those fish, yeah, they, I'm sure they are. Those ones that I caught right here, dude, they were planted in the right spot. Really? Yeah, just like grass, you know, kind of tree. Did you fish yeah. this uh, rock over here? Oh my gosh, Adam. There's like fish eating bait up on the bank. But uh, I was just gonna tell you that, but yeah, on a little rage crawl. Um, all right cool yeah we're gonna try this point for a little bit more yeah but if it's not working we're gonna start running back and seeing if they're pushed up running all right sounds good i'll talk to you here soon cool Bye. oh my gosh huge fish right there huge one it might get a little crazy today I didn't think much about this morning, but. Oh my gosh, that was crazy right there. That bite was, man. He took me uh, off those rocks like five foot out in like two seconds, just steaming. So guys, we're rolling up on the spot right here. And yesterday I caught a seven and a half one cast later, caught a four. Two casts after that, I caught a six. By the way, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But this spot right here is loaded. There's actually a bunch of beds up on the bank. I was trying to play this very stealthy. I don't want to spook these fish off. There's a big boil right there, and that's where he is. Oh, I see him. He's huge. I just reeled it in front of his nose. Yeah, you just swam off the bank. That fish looks like he's over five. There's another boil. 
But I will tell you guys, that fish that was seven and a half looked like he was a five pounder. So this could be a hog. So guys, we're gonna trade out that rage crawl I was using. It was in black and blue swirl. We're gonna trade that out for a rage bug. I actually ran out of rage crawls the last few days. We've just been smoking them on it. So you got the rage bugs. This is in blue bug. Pretty little color. It's like sapphire blue on this side, and then on this side it's black and blue. So good little crawl. Rig this up on this Texas rig. This might be the trick. I didn't try this yesterday, and this color looks really good. So I think that they're gonna munch it. Oh my gosh, that's a catfish. Just get off me. Or is it? It's a bass. Or no, it's a giant bluegill. Oh my gosh. Really? Look at that. Is that not insane? That is... Long, right? <laughs> there we go. Huge bluegill. I thought it was a catfish, but oh my gosh. Slap him on a sandwich. Yeah, a night fishing, like I used to, I got one. Oh yeah, that's a good bass. Eat that rage bug. It's my first one on the rage bug. These fish are fighting so good too. You gotta love that. Let's flip him right up. Come here, buddy. Little one pounder, about a one and a half, high one. Here we go. Pretty fish. Gotta enjoy that on the rage bug right there. Fourth fish today, and we just got started not too long ago. Gotta love catching those fish. There's pretty markings on them, pretty colors. Nice bass. Thank you, buddy. Well, guys, this is my first fish on the rage bug today. I really like it. It looks good in the water. You got these little tentacles on the back that kick up. We're fishing this little rocky bank right here. Got a little bit of wind pushing up in it, and these fish are just pushed up tight to these rocks we just haven't really found them stacked up on one of these banks yet except for right at the beginning that was a lot of fun but this one right here is kind of you get a bite every once in a while you know you'll, you'll get thumped it's slow and steady then you'll get another opportunity and just gotta keep covering water working down this bank oh my gosh i got a huge one He's stuck in that. Oh no, he's not that big. I don't think he's running like he's big. Yeah, he's not that big. It's a solid like two and a half. Oh man. We got one eye, Willie. He's only got one eye. <laughs> he's blind in one eye, I can tell. Gosh, look how beat up that fish is. Oh, he probably got his eye. A little beat up. Here we go, guys. Fish number five. We would have a limit already. Yeah, we're, just, just, we're doing it. Got some like weird stuff going on with his tail. It's just a pretty guy right there. I thought he was a big one when I hooked set him. He was like stuck in this like log on the bank. And I finally got him. I was like, oh, that's only like a two pounder. But you know, that's still fun to catch. Uh oh. That is a tiny one. <laughs> little guy. That's what we call a little Twinkie right there. We do not want those. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm about to say a moving bait bite could be good and he <laughs> slammed it. I was just about to have that come out of my mouth. With the clouds up today. Oh, he came off. He wasn't big. He felt big. He hit it like a five pounder. I'm about to say this, you know, for the conditions today, guys, got all, all these clouds um, and a little bit of wind coming up on this bank. It makes sense for them to smunch and moving bait really good. But I was like, you know what? Let's pick it up. And second cast just had that little guy. They're biting pretty good today. They're definitely biting better than yesterday. Already caught like seven. That would have been our eighth fish.
cow one right there. It's a decent one. It's a decent one. Don't go under the boat, buddy. Solid two and a half pounder. That's a nice fish. Can't complain with one of those. It's a long bass right there. Wow. That is nice. That's a what? I think this is our eighth or ninth fish today. Oh, Solid two pounder. His mouth's a little jacked up. He's been caught a few times. You can tell right there on the side of his mouth. A little messed up. It's a nice fish though. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys, well, we've caught, I believe that's nine fish. And we've only been out here for like an hour. Like, it's going well today. It's a lot quicker. I didn't even have one fish in the boat for the first hour yesterday. So, and we caught 26 pounds. We haven't caught any big, big ones yet. We've had this first two fish that were solid, you know, three, three and a half, but we haven't really had any big ones. The one thing I pay attention to is when we're going along this bank, what I've noticed, you have like these little pencil reeds up there and there's only like two or three patches along this whole bank but every little tiny pencil reed patch has had a bass bedding on it so it's something to think about yep yeah where at First one? Oh, that was cool. Oh. Nice. Little acrobatic guy. That's a fish. Little bass. Little bit of bass. Get your butt up here, boy. A little tiny one. We got that rage bug. Look at that. Right there. It's about the size of him. Top of his mouth, really. There we go, guys. Rage bug. So to give you guys a little update, we've caught a good bit of fish. We've caught like, how many bass? Probably 13 to 15, yeah, probably. Like 13, right. We've had like 13 to 15 fish, and between our best five, I think we have around 14, 15 pounds, which is awesome. I mean, it's, a, it's been a decent day. I haven't had like the crazy really big fish that we caught in the last video, but we have caught some good ones. We're gonna head over here to the other side of the lake, try to do a little bit more hunting and try to find some big fish stacked up somewhere. Oh, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. I'm dancing for him, he's like a two pounder. <laughs> that's a fat one right there. These fish are thick and chunky. Look at that. It's a good little bass. Rage bug again. Little Texas rigs getting it done. It's pitching up on these banks. A little bit of grass, a little bit of wood. And the best banks that we found today is that hybrid. You know, you have lay downs on the bank and you also have a little bit of grass. That's where those bass are. That's where they're very predictable. It's when you find that mixture of cover. There we go. It's a nice fish. I don't know if he's quite too, but he's a high one pounder. A little thick, thick body. Thank you, buddy. I actually, ooh, I just had another one hit. He got me. Oh, that's a big one. Oh yeah, that's a giant. That's a giant right there. Oh man. Oh, he's fighting a lot harder than what he is, but it's still a good one. That might be a four pounder. It might be three. Oh, that's definitely a four pounder. Oh my gosh, that's bigger than that. <laughs> that fish, that's, that is what we've been looking for. Just missed one. I don't think this is the same fish because I stuck the other one. Look at that. Oh my gosh, he came off. That is what you want. That's a solid four pounder. We'll get him on the scale. Uh, Adam has the scale. I might have to hold him for a second, but that's a good fish right there. That's the ones we're looking for today. Finally found a big one. So that is going to end off today's video, boys and girls. If you enjoyed it, if you could hit that like button. If you guys want to see us go back to Stanley Southern Traditions, let your boy know in the comment section down below. We're going to make it happen soon. There's some good fish out there, and uh, 
like I said, I'm just blessed and thankful that we had the opportunity to go out there and um, go fishing and catch some big fish out there. It was just a good time. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the love and support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.